if cinematic intros were honest. We saw the uh, Forsaken portion of this video, and it was fantastic. So I can't wait to watch the rest. This this will be really good. The noble humans of Stormwind are a proud, tenacious race. Picking a human is not boring. It's a safe pick, not boring. Safe doesn't have to mean boring. The haters will say that it's creatively bankrupt. All of these fantasy races, and you pick the white middle-aged boomer neighbor down the street named Greg, yeah. who knocks on your door to complain about how you left your trash cans out on a Thursday evening yeah. when the garbage truck already got the garbage an hour ago, and how your garbage cans really should go back into the shed so not everyone have to look at them all day. What the haters don't understand is that Greg is a misunderstood hero oh. and the backbone of society. Oh. Hold wow. your boring head high. Burn your unoriginality like fuel on your journey. Here are some great excuses for picking a boring human. Ha <laughs> dude, I DK man. I just chose the first guy that showed up. <laughs> I don't really care, hey hey. Or how about, dude, I just picked human for the racials and sword specialization, good, dude. Yeah. Have you even done damage calcs? I understand you, bro. I actually think a balding middle-aged dude looks cool. All right, when I first started playing WoW, I played a Night Elf Rogue because I was 12 and I named him Assassin because, I mean, I was 12. Like, I was badass, right? And I saw people that picked human warriors. And then, I, and then after that, I played a mage. And then after that, I played like a paladin, like a bunch of different classes. And I remember I saw people running around as a human warrior. And my 12-year-old self is just like, what a mistake. A human warrior? You could go and do that in real life. Just take your shirt off and run around with a damn sword. Like, bro, I'm casting fireballs onto people. I'm literally turning someone into a damn sheep. You know, like, I'm, I'm a rogue and I'm vanishing. Like, why would you ever play a human warrior? Unreal. Okay. Oh, you're that guy. Wow, man. Let me be the skeletons. The cool bad guys. I don't judge you, man. To be honest, if you're still listening to this dialogue, that might be a forsaken player record or something. The escape key is top left if you want to skip out on the dialogue. <laughs> Not that you need to hear that. You probably have a word per minute of 200 and eight different add-ons to optimize quest effectivity. Sure. Sorry to hear that you missed out on XX Avalon's intro dialogue skipper 8.7. <laughs> Maybe you downloaded the one for retail. <laughs> so anyway, you rolling a mage this time? Or are you going with a rogue again? <laughs> it's just major. The old bread and butter. Yeah, baby. Combat rogue. Swords build. An excellent choice, sir. Yeah. I'll just spawn your character in amongst the other tryhard ninja skeletons. <laughs> yeah. Let's give your character something to stick out from the masses. Perhaps a theme song for your sick PvP frags compilations. Yes. Uh, let me just... What do you think of this one? Uh, that works. Pretty badass, right? Yeah, that works. Yeah, I know you. This is your theme. Just go, dude. Fuck the others. <laughs> yeah. In this world, it's just you, yourself, and the loot, man. Dude, that is so accurate for undeads. Just giga chads. You're either a rogue, a mage, or a priest. You're probably playing RMP. Like, you're, yeah, you're farming everybody else. Absolutely right, man. Yes. Yes. All right. For those over 30, physically or <laughs> mentally, the stoic dwarves of Ironforge stands out as the perfect pick. <laughs> Nestled into the corner of their back office behind their 3D printer, they ponder over a video discussing if Gimli could have taken the ring to Mordor on the one screen, while discussing grass moors with fellow dads in guild chat on the other. There's nothing wrong with picking a dwarf. I like power metal too, 
Have you heard Windrose? I can't believe they did a cover of Diggy Diggy Hole. What's that? That's four years ago? Barely news? What you fail to realize is that dwarf players talk about the same five anecdotes or topics over and over oh, again. Good. For a dwarf player, time moves different. We're not discussing the news. We're discussing the classics. I could never imagine playing a dwarf, ever. Long ago, many orc good, strong, then demon, zug, zug. the demon bad. <laughs> yeah. The orc come bad too. They be angry. <laughs> they come to pink skin place, dumb forest, and that oh yellow my. place. You fly zeppelin to get cool red mask for you. Oh the gosh. orc come five pink skin, but for wrong reason, demon reason. Yeah. Orc almost chill all yeah. pigskin. But that is that in story I tell now. Long time after, nice orc named Thrall, your <laughs> boss. He magic orc with big haver. He make orc strong again, but no demon this time. Except if you warlock. Then some demon, but way less. So accurate, bro. Yes, I love it. So you took the gnome pill. <laughs> Based. No, Dude, if I could just live like a gnome. Imagine life. Not a care in the world. Just live in a mushroom and <laughs> ski around the wintry forests of Scandinavia or something. Or oh, when I say Scandinavia, I mean the Scandinavian peninsula, not Denmark. Who the fuck would want to be a Danish gnome? Fa! Ja kan ik for døren til gnomer, ikke er nok? Jesus Christ, oh, what a no. nightmare. So anyway, gnomes get a bad rep from the other races of Warcraft. As it turns out, people find it annoying to get one shot from the shadows by a two-foot pink mustached fucker. Or have their face blasted off by an arcane powered pyroblast from someone too Sounds short to ride the wild mouse roller coaster while waiting for the boat to ratchet. What gnome players should recognize is that this hatred is not a weakness, it's a strength. Embrace it. They want a bad guy? Well, say hello to the fucking bad guy. Yeah. Better watch out for tall grass, asshole. We're coming for you. Bro, I actually like gnomes. Gnomes are pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Plus they have an OP racial. The rarest breed of horde players. The troll player is one of two people. Nicest guy you will ever meet. Or stoner that goes AFK in the middle of a dungeon run to take care of something on the balcony. Yes, <laughs> take care the of balcony something. of the troll player sure is a place of mystery. <laughs> and many times even urgency. What's that? We're all at the instance, except for Healer. Where is the troll priest? <laughs> Did you check the balcony? You, hey, hey, guys. Hold up, can we just hold on one quick hour before one, engaging boss? I just gotta nip down to the shop again. What's that? I just did. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. <laughs> They're fine. Smoke. They're fine. They're cool <laughs> friends, just. Just don't let them tank, okay? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so accurate, dude. God. Taz Dingo. Oh my oh. god. You're an elf player. Giga no, Jen. no, I'm not okay. judging. It's a free world. I mean, come on. You can do whatever you want. Elves I are don't sick. care. It's just, uh, it's just like, really, really. <laughs> are you sure? Yeah. I mean, it's just like, the ears and the. Bro, what's wrong with an elf? I did not sigh. That was not a sigh. It was just like a yawn. I had a long night, okay? I don't okay. judge. I knew a guy that played an elf alt. If I liked him. I mean, like, how do you define how to like someone? I mean, you can tolerate a guy, sure. Okay, let's just stop this, okay? 
play your stupid elf. I don't care. Bro, elves are cool. Just I don't know what he's talking about. That stupid treehouse. Yeah, look at that architecture. It's so unnecessarily gaudy and like pink and purple. No, and then no, you it's think actually of the cool. Elf players. They're locking themselves inside that treehouse, pretending to be animals and druids and whatnot, and you can just, like, imagine the smell. Imagine the smell of that treehouse. It's like a furry convention every day. Uh, that's kind of true, I guess. And it's like, ah. Battle for Azeroth was a train wreck of an expansion, <laughs> but honestly, they can't burn that tree down fast enough. Oh my gosh, Go pretend wow. be a cat or whatever you elves do, I don't care. We're done here. That, no, that is like the only one I think I, I kind of disagree with. I, I think elves are sick. Swifty was a night elf warrior. Ozzy was also a night elf warrior. Ozzy fell to his death. That doesn't have anything to do with anything, but it's still true. And and yeah, I think I think elves are cool. Yeah. Ever since the dawn of Azeroth, there has been one question left unanswered. What? in the ever-living fuck must they have put into the waters of Mulgore to make the Tauren players so goddamn good at the game. Sony. And actually, not only good at the game, but also overall just Coo excelling Coogan. at life in general. Kungin, Sony. Handsome, brave, yeah. strong, yeah. smart, yeah. unbiased, Actu and overall else, humble. <laughs> These are only fractions of yeah. the main characteristics of the Tauren player. We could sit here and list all the other nuances of brilliance and genius, but let's just listen to this sweet tune instead, man. Zarmumu? Yeah. Perfection. Much like the Tauren player. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty accurate. That's Good choice, accurate. man. Good choice. <laughs> You're a rock star. The Torrens are just OP from the get because the, the, the hitbox is larger. You can literally just hit from further away. Every time I duel Sony, he's hitting me from 30 yards away. It's crazy. No, no, we're not doing that <laughs> okay, was... there will be no elves on the wrong side there will be no space goats yeah let's keep it yeah, classic okay w. thanks for watching and all that see you in another seven months i was just about to say oh we're doing all the retail ones too oh man that's a great <laughs> ending